our favorite day of the week because Hawaii's Kitchen is on the road at Taqueria El Ranchero in Wahiwa. I'm here with Anissa, and this is such a great spot here. Yes. Thanks for having us out. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the history of the restaurant, how long you've been here. All right, so we opened our doors in May of 2015, so we just passed the four-year mark, trying to see if we can do something a little bit bigger for the five-year, make ourselves a little more known than we already are. And you're a very popular local spot, especially with a vibrant military community. This is the place to come for tacos. Yes, it is. It's right close to the base. Everybody just comes down. We try to get everybody in and out as quick as possible, and that's something that really accommodates the military as well. Trying to get on their lunch break really quick, get something really good to eat, and head back to work. Well, this is a place. It looks like you have a lot of great stuff. Tell me about some of the things we have here just to start with. Yes, so we have all of our salsas right here. We make all of these in-house. They're all with super fresh ingredients that we get delivered every week. We have our own chips that we make in-house and just all really good, vibrant flavors. They're all pretty spicy, so I always give people a little word of caution when they go to eat them. Well, people know I love the spicy, so I'm going to have yes. to try this maybe at the end of the interview. Now, if it is a little hot, you have some great drinks yes. to cool down with. We have our good Aguas Frescas to go with them. Um, this one's the horchata. It's our rice milk. You have the wonderful watermelon. That one's my absolute favorite. Love it. Yes. Of course, though, people coming here really want your tacos, your burritos. Tell me about the experience and what are some of the popular specialties. All right. So with our tacos, our more popular taco is going to be just the street taco, just simple, just the meat. It has onion, cilantro, and salsa. Get a little lime on the side to sprinkle on the top. It's really great flavor. And our burritos, our most popular is going to be our Cali burrito. It has your french fries, guac, sour cream, and cheese. Just all those great flavors just wrapped into one burrito that you can take on the go. Just eat while you're walking, whatever you got to do for the day. And I see you're just serving them up one yes. after the other at the lunch hour here. Yes, we have to. Like I said, with the military, we kind of have to be quick so that you can get back to work, beat all that traffic. So one of our main goals is to get really good customer service to people and then get them out, like, in and out as quickly as we can. And really good food, too. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, um, it's Thursday, but do you do any Taco Tuesday specials or anything yes, you want to tell us about? Of course. Every Taco Tuesday starts at 6 p.m. It goes until 10 p.m. when we close our kitchen. They're $1.50. The line's always out the door so I try to tell people to get here a little bit early because people start lining up at about 5 30. Okay <laughs> see and they're serving them up as we speak too you got the tip here all right we want to head into the kitchen what are we going to be cooking up? All right so we're going to have some of our three most popular meats we're going to have our al pastor going and then we have our chicken and our carne asada on the grill. All right all right which is the spiciest of the salsas here Adisa? Uh, for me, they're all spicy, but I would have to say the brown one. All right. This is it. John knows I like the spice, so a little spicy salsa with the fresh chips here at Taqueria El Ranchero. We're back in the kitchen after this. I wasn't the cameraman on this shoot. No. It was so good. Every salsa did have nice heat to it because sometimes I'm like, oh, not, no, not, I don't take, I tasted it and I liked it. So the tacos are amazing. You got to see how they put it together. Here's a little to whet your appetite. Sorry, you're going to start, your stomach's going to start totally growling. I would have survived. <laughs> I would have gone on that shoot and I would have sat next to you mm -hmm. and I would have eaten whatever spice you gave up to me. Yes, with the, the watermelon, the aqua fresca, so good.